The James Webb Space Telescope has reached the limit of what can be deployed in orbit as a single piece with today's rockets. For even larger next-generation space telescopes, we cannot simply rely on larger rockets, but we have to develop scalable technology for the autonomous assembly of large structures in space. For this, DFKI and our European partners have been working on three demonstrators – in simulation, on land and underwater. The purpose of the underwater demonstrator is to show the assembly of the mirror structure in microgravity. For this, the robot and the segmented mirror tiles are both designed to be weightless in water, so that they behave similar as they would in orbit. A very important goal of this demonstrator is to represent the size and workspace of a real spacecraft. And that means especially one thing. The entire demonstrator is large. To assemble the mirror tiles, currently we are using a robotic arm with a six degree of freedom. The robotic arm is developed by our project partner Graltech for underwater robotics. The arm has a reachability of two meters. The workspace of this arm is increased by attaching it to a linear rail system. With this robotic setup, the robot arm can pick the tiles from the storage area at the bottom and move them to the assembly site at the top. In the real system, the mirror tiles are connected using the standard interconnect interfaces. These interfaces do not only provide the mechanical connection, but also provide power, data and thermal energy transmission. However, for the underwater demonstrator, we only need a mechanical connection. So we use a simplified mechanical interface with magnets that provide the mechanical connection. A passivity-based admittance control strategy was developed so that we could account for misalignment errors during docking operation. Der Hauptcomputer äh, an Land ist mit einer highspeed datenverbindung über Glasfaser mit dem Computer im Becken verbunden. Von hier werden wichtige Komponenten wie zum Beispiel der Manipulator oder die magnetischen Verbinder direkt angesprochen. Alle elektrischen und elektronischen Komponenten müssen natürlich vor Wasser geschützt werden und sind daher in einem wasserdichten Gehäuse untergebracht. The software architecture for the autonomous assembly was developed using the Azurecos framework. It provides a set of tools to support the development and deployment of robotics applications with strict safety requirements. The main components of the architecture that were implemented in Azrecos from existing DFKI libraries are the motion planner and the control of the robotic system. The objective of the motion planner is to find the robot motion from a start state to a goal state while avoiding obstacles in the environment and satisfying other constraints such as joint limits. One of the key concepts uh, we are exploring in the Pulsar project is to pre-assemble several mirror tiles at the storage area at the bottom and move them as a package. Mm -hmm. 